Nobody starts off in sport thinking they're going to cheat. I certainly didn't. And so when I stand on a podium, I know I've got there through sheer determination and hard work. Hi, this is Classic Athletics bringing you a video on the great British heptathlete Kelly Sotherton. She has been a remarkable inspiration for women in sport and won major medals for Team Britain. Unfortunately, due to the gruelling nature of her discipline, many athletes were tempted to cheat, which sometimes unfairly pushed her off the podium. Despite this, she had a successful career and did it with style, poise and integrity. Stay tuned. Kelly Southerton was born in Newport, Isle of Wight, which is a tiny island just off the southern coast of England. She was raised in a single parent household as the only child and diligently worked with her mother helping her in hotel jobs from the age of nine. She showed early talent for sport and credits her PE teacher, Derek Smith, for encouraging her. She played netball for the Isle of Wight and won two English schools championships in the heptathlon. In fact, she was actually bullied by other school girls who were jealous of her sporting ability, but they could never catch her when they tried to catch up on her. During her teen years, she also worked as a barmaid and bowling alley assistant so that she could pay for the ferry across to the mainland of England for sports training. In 1997, she competed in the Island Games and won several medals in various sports. In 1998, she moved to the mainland of England to join the Birchfield Harriers Athletic Club of Birmingham. She continued to train and joined Team Britain in 2002 at the age of 26. In the 2004 Olympics, she won a bronze medal for Great Britain, which was a surprise as she was relatively unknown at this point in time. In 2005, she competed in the European Indoor Championships and won a silver medal behind Carolina Kluft. In March 2006, she took gold at the Commonwealth Games in the heptathlon. At the European Indoor Championships in 2007, she narrowly missed out on gold, just 17 points behind Carolina Kluft. In this meeting, however, she set a new Commonwealth record and also set a new personal best in the 800 and high jump. In 2007 World Championships, she won a bronze medal just ahead of teammate Jess Ennis. At the 2008 Olympic Games, she was given fifth place in the heptathlon. She was also part of the 4x4 100 meter relay team which finished fifth. The following year, Kelly Sullivan struggled with injuries and although she was selected by the 2009 European Indoor Championships, she had to withdraw due to a heel problem. 2010 and 2011 were also difficult years as she was having trouble with a previous back injury. She eventually decided to reinvent herself as a 400 meter runner and won a track meeting in Sheffield in 2011. In 2012, Kelly Southerton announced her retirement from athletics after struggling to recover from a back surgery. This meant that she could not compete in the London 2012 Games as she'd hoped. Thank you for the memories, Kelly Southerton. As mentioned at the start of this video, unfortunately, Kelly Southerton competed with athletes who took performance enhancing drugs. Many years later, other athletes who received medals at the 2008 Olympics were caught for doping, so the medal positions changed. She received her bronze medal from the 4x400m relay at the London Anniversary Games in July 2008, along with her teammates. Athletics, women's 4x400m relay, Kelly Southerton. Two months later, she received her second bronze medal from the 2008 Olympic for the heptathlon, which is her event. This ceremony took place at the Team GB Ball in London. In this interview, she says how she felt receiving her medals. So when I got that at the Team GB Ball, presented by Hugh Robertson, it was an amazing experience. I think it probably meant more to me to receive it in front of three, four hundred people in a small arena where everybody understood why I was getting it at that time. It was just a really special moment. So, and it was, you know, an all, not that I'm 
all about me <laughs> but all eyes were on me for those few moments and it was it was so I was really proud um yeah and, and that moment will stay with me for the rest of my life um because of her experience as an athlete she makes appearances on the radio and on television since retiring she coaches and mentors in athletics she's also active on social media follow her on instagram and twitter at Kelly Southerton. She participated in the London Marathon in the Aid of Age UK and the Marathon Row for Cancer Research. In 2020, she was appointed member of the Order of the British Empire MBE in the 2020 New Year Honours. What I like about Kelly Southerton is that she's hardworking, determined and committed to the sport. First of all, you have to be a certain kind of person to want to compete at seven events. She kept training until she joined the team at the age of 26, which is quite late if you compare her to other athletes. She'd actually been working towards that goal since she was a child in the Isle of Wight though. She's not been afraid to take an active vocal role against doping, even speaking up during events if she felt that something was suspicious. She spoke candidly particularly about her disappointment after the 2008 Olympics. In interviews, she has been honest about how she may have lost out financially and especially on endorsements potentially. She's also spoken about the knock-on effect from funding for UK athletics as a result of lower than expected medal tallies. I think any time there's a scandal about doping, which unfortunately there always will be, Kelly Southerton will always be the voice and representative for clean athletes. I hope you have enjoyed this video on Kelly Southerton MBE. Please like, share and subscribe.